O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Uh, friends, apologies if my voice is not yet where I'd like it to be. It's just a little off these days, but uh, we'll do the best we can. My friends, let's uh, take a moment to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You came to bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord, Are, as you live, my lord, I am the woman who stood near you, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my horn is exalt in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on soil. The barren wife bears seven sons while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He rises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust, from the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with the nobles and make glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. O King of nations, keystone of the church, come and save man whom you form from the dust. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He's filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Starting about the second, third centuries of the church, there was a heresy called Pelagianism. It came to be called Pelagianism after a figure, Pelagius. And the basic idea was that we human beings could do something basically to earn our salvation. Like we could work it out. If we worked hard enough, then God would be able to give it to us we would be justified, we would be righteous because we did all of the right things and then God will shine his face on us. That was decreed a heresy very early on for the following reason, that our faith is really about, you know, what God has done, is doing, and will do for us, in us, through us, and with us. It's not the story of us trying to prove our merit or our mettle or how special we are or how great we are so that God will look at us and say, all right, I'm impressed. I'll save you. I like you. I love you enough. You seem interesting. It doesn't work that way. And it's important, I think, for us to kind of check back in with that in a time where we get closer and closer to Christmas because Advent, like Lent, has that sense of, of course, preparation to it. And we can forget or trick ourselves into thinking that we're preparing so that, you know, we might be worthy for his coming or might be, um, you know, might be able to satisfy him so that he'll come to us. The reason we cooperate with God, the reason we try to serve one another in the way that God serves and loves us is a response to something that God has always done first. He created us first, saved us first, is going to give us the gift of resurrection first. None of that was of our own initiative, and it's nothing we can earn. It's nothing we can satisfy God to give us. It's just a free thing. And so that's the God that we are going to worship coming into our world this Christmas, is a God who comes inevitably and a God who comes regardless of where my heart and my soul and my mind is at. And that only speaks to the glory of God who has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly, whether I'm able to do the same myself. Let us stand to bring our prayers to our loving God who hears us. We pray for the church that we might spread the good news of a God who loves us unconditionally. We pray to the Lord. For those who lead us in our society, they might care for the dignity of those least in our midst, for the oppressed and for the most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick, 
for all who suffer in mind and body or spirit, from those who suffer from mental illness and from addiction, we praise the Lord. We pray for the intention of this Mass for Thomas and Jean Kadimas, and for all of our beloved dead who have gone before us in faith. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause in silence and remember all the prayers in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask you, O good and loving Father, to hear our prayers. We make them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. It's on in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May reception of your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, so we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Uh, friends, because the office closes tomorrow um, and the parish closes after Mass, uh, we'll be celebrating our holy hour, adoration immediately following this Mass instead. Uh, and tomorrow, we're, of course, aware that it sounds like there's going to be a snowstorm, so please do uh, take care of your safety first and foremost. Uh, if nobody else is here, I'll just say the responses in a different voice or something, and we'll make it, we'll make it happen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.